So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service and then click on W on your keyboard. Now you're gonna scroll down till you find Windows Audio. You're gonna double click on it. Make sure that the startup type is on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. But if you got to this stage and it was already running and it was already on automatic, then you're gonna click on restart the service. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna expand audio inputs and outputs. You wanna expand this. And then you wanna find your speakers. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for your device installed. Then you wanna go back and click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on every pick from a list. You want to install the one that you think is most applicable to your speakers. So choose the correct one and then click on next and then install that. And now once you complete both these steps, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.